Imekuwa ni furaha kwa familia ya John Henry Mwangi aliyeachiliwa kutoka gerezani baada ya kuhukumiwa kimakosa kwenye kesi ya mzozo wa ardhi. Hii ni baada ya afisi ya mkurugenzi wa mashtaka kubatilisha kifungo hicho ilipobaini kwa stakabadhi zilizotumika kumfunga yeye na dadake zilikuwa gushi. Mwangi aliyeachiliwa pamoja na dadake Caroline Wamboe Masharia ambaye pia alikuwa gerezani. Ni wakati wa chakula cha mchana nyumbani kwa John Henry Mwangi ambaye amekuwa mbali na nyumbani akitumikia kifungo cha miaka minne gerezani. Tunamkuta akiwasiliana na mwanayo miaka minane. Familia hii imejumuika tena pamoja na nyuso zao zinaashiria furaha na uzuni kwa wakati mmoja. Mkewe Mwangi anatusimulia changamoto alizokumbana nazo wakati mumewe akiwa gerezani. I have cried tears. I was telling my, my, my colleagues, it's so interesting when we went to remove my husband that I was the only one who was not crying. I didn't cry. I think I've cried so many tears. They are not tears anymore. Yeah, that's the reality. Kesi ya Mwangi aliyeshtakiwa pamoja na dadake Caroline Wambui Masharia ilianza mwaka 2009. Wakati waliposhtakiwa kwa kugushi stakabadhi za kutaka kurithi mali ya mjomba yao baada ya nyanya yao kuaga dunia eneo la Dagoreti 2009 our uncle who all along had not raised any objection came forward and said that uh, we had dis, uh, disinherited him in how the property had been distributed. Alikata rufaa dhidi ya uamuzi huo mwaka 2020 lakini mahakama kuu ilitupilia mbali rufaa yake. Lakini mawakili wake hawakukata tamaa na walielekea katika mahakama ya rufaa. Was in this space and Rafaela couldn't reach. So we had to take turns to lift her to be able to reach where the father is and really project if there are other people you have to project your voice to be heard. And so we take turns. My, our sons look big now because they are high schoolers and college but then there were also children. I thank the legal team that believed in this case and they took it up and they pursued all the options that were necessary for me to gain my freedom. Katika barua iliyoandikwa tarehe nane mwezi huu kiongozi wa mashtaka ya umma amedokeza kuwa afisa aliyemchunguza Mwangi hakutimiza wajibu wake wa kukusanya ushahidi au sahihi za mlalamishi. Barua hiyo ilipelekea mahakama ya rufaa kumwachilia huru. The criminal investigation department ought to be take, or taken personally responsible for the flawed investigations that are carried out to convict innocent people and the conviction was dropped and so I am a free man thanks to God and thanks to the legal team. Kwa sasa familia hii inafurahia kujumuika pamoja huku idara ya mahakama ikipigiwa darubini kwa kuwasilishwa kwa kesi zisizostahili na kufungwa kwa watu wasokuwa na hatia.